When you first look at this piece of tissue here, you think you might be dealing with some kind of organ that has lumen and a mucosa and a wall, but as you zoom in, you could quickly see that's not the case at all. You're dealing with something that is extensively fibrotic. You're dealing with uh, an areas of a lot of fibroblasts, a lot of collagen, uh, making up most of the uh, pink wall of this area. Uh, and you're dealing with structures towards the center, which once again, do not look like they are part of any normal human tissue that we've ever seen. They appear to uh, be cut uh, and showing round on cut sections, long on longitudinal sections. They appear to have perhaps their own uh, gastrointestinal system. They have a little bit of muscle and perhaps cuticle. So you know these are worms again. You know these are round worms. And you know you are dealing now with round worms um, involving uh, soft tissues of the human body. And uh, this particular worm is called Ancocerca valvulus. It causes a disease called river blindness because that's where you pick up uh, the uh, organism uh, around a river. It's uh, predominantly in Africa. And believe it or not, it's the second most common cause of blindness worldwide. Uh, so it has um, massive uh, importance in vision, although you'll never see it here in the United States. Uh, if you would like to go into the life cycle, I normally hate life cycles because I can never remember them. You can know that the chief uh, vector in this parasite is the black fly. Uh, we have various stages of larval development. And then the adult uh, forms can lodge subcutaneously and, of course, uh, involving the uh, eye as well. This is Ancocerca valvulus, uh, river blindness, second leading cause of infectious blindness in the world, chiefly in Africa. Thank you very much.